hi guys in this video i'm gonna cover one more iacs scenario based interview question so be carefully watch it till the end my scenario is if i have a source file like this if you see on my screen i have customer source file as id name address these are my fields in that uh, source files and these are the records in this if you see the first two records is not having any null value for any field and if you see third record we have one null value for one field and if you see fourth record we have all values are nulls for all fields so my first scenario is if any field is having null value those records has to send to the one target and the fields all fields which are not null values having not null values those we i have to send to the and the target as shown here okay so two records two records these are not null records and these are if any field is having null then those has to send to the and the target so this is my requirement i'm gonna create in a logic uh, for this in iacs before that have to mention one thing oh, i'm i'm taking this as a source file because you know um, doing this logic when on database level like uh, if our source is um, it's a table then it's very easy to eliminate the normal fields and i mean uh, we can write uh, sql override queries and all so but if that is uh, that is a file means and writing that logic is very complex because we have to use the transformations we we don't have an option to write the sql override so i'm showing that um, when we are uh, having the source as a file so how we can implement uh, that logic i'm going to show you now in the iacs before that the same thing i'm going to keep it and i mean i already kept in some source file i'm just checking so customer src txt this is this is my source file same thing as it is as shown in the excel same data i kept it here and this uh, this fourth and sorry third and fourth records is having nulls okay now i'm going to I'm going to the IACS. This is my UI. So here I'm going to create. I mean, I think data integration. Okay. So I'm going to create another mapping, new mapping. So my. Okay. So go to the new and here create a mapping. If you see here in source, we are going to create a file connection. This is already created. I'm just configuring it here and I'm going to select my source file. Um, customers SRC TXT. This is my source file. I'm going to select that. I'm going to do some formatting also. It's a comma delimited. Uh, it's a text qualifier is none. Okay. And now I'm going to create another expression. In this expression, I'm going to create one more output field. Its uh, name is O underscore null so string 10 precision i mean okay now i'm going to configure the logic here for finding the nulls in the particular field for the particular field so if is null this is the function for finding the nulls in that field 
so if it's um, the value is null then the id value is null then it will be true otherwise it's false so i have to check all fields like this so is null of name and or we have another field also so is null of address so i'm i checked all nulls here if any field is having null value then it will be true so it will return one if it's false zero for all fields which are having sorry all fields are null not nulls then it will return zero if any field is null then it will return one so this is the expression oh is null is missing here okay now validate valid okay now i'm going to create a router because we have we have to send the data to the two targets two targets means we have to use the router for uh, sending uh, uh, for creating the two groups one is for nulls and one is for not nulls so in output group i'm going to create two groups one is for new groups i'm going to create one is for nulls null group here i'm using simple and the condition is O null equals to one then it is null record it's going to the null group if O null is not null means zero then it is going to the not null group okay two groups have created And now I'm going to create a target. You understood, right? Uh, so the first one is null group, and the second one is not null group. And whatever we uh, created uh, in expression, that flags we are giving here. For uh, nulls, we have given one, and for not nulls, we have given zero. And I'm going to create a target. I uh, already it's given the skeleton, but I'm going to create give uh, I mean configure the connection, that file connection, and I'm going to give the file name which is it's not existed. So I'm going to create a file at runtime so it will create this file when it's running. So I'm going to give some static file name as uh, Null TZT. Okay. And I'm going to configure this one as comma CSV file and uh, the text qualifier is none. And in incoming fields, I don't want O null field because we used that one for only making the logic. It's not coming from the source, so I don't want that field. So I'm gonna exclude here. Okay, just going to give exclude name of field. Okay, that field owner field I selected and save it. And I'm going to create and there uh, once again this is having default link i'm going to give this uh, null group link to the first target so i'm going to give tzt null the name okay and i'm going to create another target here this 
copy paste that instance control C and control V you will you will get another target so here I'm going to give another file so this is not null gizity gizity means target okay I'm just giving like this and here if you go advanced sorry uh, formatting options you will see comma none import same thing we have whatever there for first one and I'm going to rename this target name with not null okay so it will change to here so I'm going to connect not null group to target okay save it in incoming fields we'll check one more time okay it's it's there the lo same logic okay now I'm going to run this mapping we'll see Yeah, as per our logic, it's executed. You see two records is there in the first null target and the two records it went to the not null. I think it's executed as per our logic. So two records, two records and we'll see the target data. So the files, whatever it's generated, we'll see here. So my see this is null tct so the two records null records came to here the not null tct and the not null records it came to here so as per my logic it's executed correctly and now i have another scenario same thing but uh, I have to send first in first target I have to send the fields which all fields having nulls those type of records I have to send means the fourth record I have to send to the first tar first target and the second record if you see here this has to send to the second target only so the first target will be having completely nulls whatever the records which is having all fields null those records is going to the target file one and target file two the records which is having not nulls and all fields which are not having nulls those records also going to be there in the target file two okay so this is very simple logic same thing whatever we have implemented but in expression level the logic is going to be changed slightly wherever we used R here R means any one one of the condition is true then it's true uh, I'm going to use and instead of R here so all fields will be null then it will be going to give one flag otherwise zero okay Now I'm going to run one more time. Success. 
yeah the first target is having one record and second target is having three records as per our logic i think it's executed we'll see the data one more time yeah if you see the first record first target i mean to say uh, in this target i mean null not null records having in not null uh, target and the balaya record also has added here the first first id is null here but entire record is not null but whatever the entire record is not null that record is going to be there in the second target okay this is null target i think everyone has understood the uh, logic and scenario so if any doubts comment it below the below my video thank you for watching this video thank you